What is up guys, it is Tony here and today we are doing a quick little tutorial where I'm going to be showing you guys how to use audio effects in Final Cut Pro. Now audio effects is a whole area of Final Cut that a lot of people don't even use. I've mentioned in the past how to treat your audio and how to make sure your audio is as good as possible, but one thing I've never really went into was uh, the effects that are offered in Final Cut Pro. Um, so the effects are pretty much all found in the uh, video effects tab. You simply just scroll down and you go into all under this audio text. It's kind of hidden to be honest. And there's a lot of cool things you could do with these. So first off, let's get some audio. Uh, one of the effects that a lot of people wanted me to uh, show you how to set up is this explosion effect. A lot of people use that boom effect, uh, sound effect, whenever they get a shot. So you can see I have it lined up right where the shot is hit and uh, we're gonna go ahead and modify it to sound as good as possible so when you first uh, listen to the effect it sounds very dull and bland uh, hence the name and uh, the way you can boost up that sound effect first off is to go into your inspector tab so instead of using these effects all you have to do is go into your inspector tab and you can do some audio enhancements so the first audio enhancement I recommend getting into uh, once you select it is going into your equalization and setting it to bass boost. This is going to boost up some of the obviously the bass in the boom which will add a lot of uh, depth to the sound. Uh, when you do this I'd also recommend removing some of the decibels on your volume meter because you're going to get a lot of peaking. Now peaking is good in this situation because you're not trying to retrieve audio from the shot. Uh, you're not trying to edit it in the future. The point of the peaking is just to have that explosion, you know, pixelation type of sound. It sounds pretty good, uh, but you can modify it as much as you want. If you don't like peaking in your audio, you can just bring that down as much as you need to. It looks like negative nine decibels does the job, but I like it around negative six personally. So there you go. Um, and then the other thing you can add into some of these uh, effects, uh, which I like adding to music, whenever the last shot in the edit is done, what I'll do is I'll take the song and I'll add one of these effects to it. And the effect is called the muffled. Uh, when you add the muffled effect, it sort of um, muffles the sound, kind of like uh, when you put you know pillows over your ears whenever you're uh, trying to drown out sound. And it sounds pretty cool for uh, adding it to songs to make them a little bit more flat in the background when you're doing commentary. Uh, there's a lot of cool things you can do with the muffled effect. Of course, you can modify it up here. But there's tons of effects under the audio tab that you can mess around with. There's ones uh, for denoising your audio, which is very useful for uh, whenever you are doing a commentary. If you're doing a commentary and there's a lot of noise, you get the denoiser tool out and you can modify uh, your parameters and you can get all the noise out of your audio. There's a lot of cool effects. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I just wanted to introduce to you guys audio effects and audio editing in Final Cut Pro because there's a lot of cool things you can do that you guys probably haven't have heard about before in the past. So that is pretty much it. That is how to treat your audio with audio effects, how to modify your uh, bass uh, on your audio and also you can do treble and all that. And if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, go ahead and like it. If you guys have any questions, comment below or suggestions for future videos, comment below. And I'll see you guys next time.